G'day, Nathan from Oziaka here, continuing the series on the AutoCAD architecture roof object, same object as in AutoCAD architectural desktop, uh, although the mass groups don't exist there. Going to have a look at a, a roof that was uh, shown on uh, YouTube for a, uh, a Revit roof, and I just wanted to look at how uh, easy it is to construct in AutoCAD architectural desktop. This is a single story roof down here, we've got double story, it all blends into one, we've got dormers, we've got a a uh, little bay going on here. How does that uh, constructed in AutoCAD architecture? The first thing I'm going to do is take my created tool and I showed you that how to do that in an earlier video. We don't want to erase the line work. Just chuck that out the way. You can see we've got our perfect roof here. However, we don't have the separation that we that we need. The other thing too is that that tool created my roof at two three meters I'm going to change it up to three full meters for the sake of the exercise I'm going to go in and deal with this edge now you notice that when I had a uh, my polyline I actually had a little loop around this edge and that gave me the ability to have two separate edges if you've already watched my videos this shows that you can actually have uh, the roof object overhanging itself I'm going to go to those two edges I'm going to change the slope to 90 that's these the edges of this this slope here not the upper floor but this slope here okay and I'm going to change the eave to select both of those with your shift click and then turn the roof off okay and I've hit the wrong roof again what I need to do is to hit uh, this roof here All right these two here so I've got one but I didn't get the other so that needs to be 90 and that will be 90 all right. now the other thing I'm going to do is go around this roof and I'm going to select all these edges this is the two-story section remember and I'm going to up it to six meters and I'm going to restore that Eve now I just click on the one that I want and hit return and it will select them all the same okay and that will restore that uh, that roof to the way I want it. I left the uh, the 90 degree, oh sorry, the zero roof. Okay, now we have the roof displaying correctly. We have our overhang. We don't have it on this side. What do we do? I've forgotten to do it. I forgot to do it in my polyline. Do I have to start again? No. Click that. I've got 50, a nice even, and I'm going to select, so I'm working on the current layer. I'm doing things very quickly here, but I run out of time, so you can always watch the video again. I'm going to stretch that up to quadrant, and it's not going to snap for me. AutoCAD architecture is wonderful in that the snaps. This is this is version 12. The snaps fail at some point, and what I'm going to do is stretch them over to line up with. there and line up with there using my snaps and that because AutoCAD architectures snaps have failed okay great we're going to drag that back here now the advantage of doing it this way is that I don't have to go play with eaves because those edges will be automatically set to 90 the height will be set to zero occasionally that will give you a problem most times it won't now that's 50 mil wide. I'm going to stretch 50 down, which gives me, <coughs> excuse me, my 45 degree angle. All right, and that gives me my overhang. That's perfect, exactly as I want it. Displays correctly in plan. Uh, you can get that as close as you need to, so that that extra <coughs> little jog disappears. Uh, we're going to create the dormers. I'm going to copy that one across. I am going fast. I'm going to, just before I do that, I'm going to open and change them to uh, plum. I'm going to copy that across to the other one. Now these roofs, I want to be set at six meters. That means they're the same as the other roof. But how, if you have a look at the back, how do I know where these back lines are? Because I need to know when it meets into this roof. 
when it intersects. And it's very difficult. You can eyeball it, all right? But I don't want to eyeball it. The other thing I want to do is actually change it, sorry, to the same pitch as this. The, the roof object, when you create a roof on the fly, will, cr will use the last pitch that you use. Okay, so how do I know where that meets that? I'm going to turn the diagram on that I used in my last exercise, and we're going to just quickly look at the eave. I'm just going to use this tool for a calculation mechanism. I'm going to select that. Now this roof's at three meters, this roof's at six meters, that's three meters difference. All right, that's the height, the eave height. We're going to use this as a calculation tool. I'm going to select that and I'm going to click that to say hold that pitch. You see that that grays out and adjusts for this diagram. This is at 25, this is at three meters. Tell me what the overhang is. The overhang is 6.433. I need to select the top of it to make it active so I can then copy it and I can cancel it because I don't need that figure. I don't need to adjust that eave. All right, I've just used it as a calculation tool. Now, what I've done, I've, I've obtained this overhang, this distance here. So what I do now is offset and I paste that figure in and I set that back. And that tells me the distance I need to drag. I don't want to drag anything else. And then I just want to use endpoints. And I want to drag it back perpendicular to this point here. All right. So that's the distance that we just obtained. You'll notice what happens here is that you get a, a line appear. And that's the end of the object. And you notice that it's in perfect position. If I quickly highlight these two, you'll notice that underneath it kisses the surface of the underneath perfectly where we want it in place. Now I hid some, okay. I hid a, a mass element here. And if, I've got to be quick to, to do this in time, but just draw a polyline around this object, close it, extrude, convert to mass. Oh, you didn't see that, did you? Convert to mass element. Uh, it asks you the height. No, uh, yes, you might as well get rid of it. Height. Okay, now I've got two mass elements. Now, the, the command that uh, uh, Autodesk has hidden from you, I keep spelling this wrong, Model Explorer. Uh, what's going on there? Okay, now I've got some earlier there, but we're just going to ignore them. We're going to ignore that drawing here. I'm going to go up to here. If, if this is greyed out, it's because you've got something selected in the drawing. I'm going to say new grouping. I'm going to select all of these items. I'm just going to select them in any order, and I'm going to stick it over here. Now I've got to go in back into that model explorer. Oh dear, where is it? Oops. And I'm going to select the ma last mass group. That's I'm going to shift that. I can't shift it because I've got this selected here. All right, I'm going to shift that up. I'm going to turn these to subtractive. All right, which means that it's going to use this roof and it's going to select su subtract that and then it's going to add back in these and we get this. Okay, let's have a look at what it looks like here. Wow, look at that. How easy was that? That was really quite easy. And the other thing too is I've retained all the intelligence of the roof objects because they're still there. Okay, not quite right. Uh, don't like how this is uh, cleaning up here. So we're just going to go in and we're going to just adjust these edges and give them, uh, let's say, 15. I'm going to do that for a reason, but now this tool here will give you the tools to know how to match this eave so that your gutter line is constant right around, okay? A roofie would do that on site. You can do it here and actually give him the exact figure so you're mucking around on site using this exercise that I just told you. Finish that, bang, we have our roof and that was dead easy, nothing to do. Now the other thing too, just quickly, uh, if you explore, I'm gonna run out of time, roof object, high detail, Actually, in that mass element, gives you a cut plane, and you can cut this roof to suit for ground floor and upper floor for a loft situation in, in terms of your roof display. Cheers, hope that helps you. It's uh, Aussie Acker out. Cheers.